Hello everyone. Peace of the Lord Jesus Christ with everyone. I hope uh, you guys enjoying our videos in here and you are learning from it more and more and more. You know, I got somebody asking me in a YouTube, YouTube page in text and I believe he's a Muslim. He's saying the following. And you will see in some way how he is accusing me to say lies. I believe he's a Muslim. How can you say that Quran forbid to take wives Jewish and the Christians as a friends when it's allowed us, us, it's mean he's a Muslim, to take them as wives, to be our baby mamas? Ridiculous! The word used in the verse is awliya, that means someone who protect, and that right. We should not take someone who is not worship the true God as a protector. Okay, from your words, number Mr. Sevillon, this is a proof to me that you are a hypocrite. Why? Because if we ask you, is the American army is your army and you live in America, right? According to this verse, you should say no. American army is my enemy. Because you just said that you cannot take them as protectors. And the president of the state is not your president which means you should not be a citizen of USA when you do not agree that this country is your country because if it's your country you should agree that the army of USA is your protector not the army of Osama bin Laden so you agreed with me number one that every Muslim is a hypocrite and they are a liar now you are asking me saying that the word awliya does not mean uh, friends it's mean protectors first I'm not a translate in your Quran this is your Islamic translation and let me show you and then you can laugh at your God not at me this is Surah 5 verse 51 and this is your official government website of Saudi Arabia the kingdom of Saudi Arabia the Minister of Islamic Affairs and endorsement and Dawah do you see it all you who believe take not Jew and the Christians for your friends and protectors friends and protectors you see it so the word awliya this is the Muslim translation not my translation it's mean both and the other surah I showed you surah 3 verse 28 it says friends and the protectors too and if you want I can take you to surah 60 verse number 1 and you can see the same you wanna see I have no problem you see it this is surah 60 verse number 1 all you believe take not my enemies as your friends and protectors and who is the enemies they are the Christian and the Jewish if you go back to surah 50 surah, surah 5 verse 51 you will see in there from that surah you will understand who is the enemy of Allah it is everyone who do not believe in God Allah as God and this is what you said actually in your PM to me that we should not believe and should not take someone as a protector for someone he don't believe in the true God so not not because he's your enemy as he's someone in war with you because he is not believing in the true God which mean for every Muslim everyone who don't believe in his God is his enemy now you said how the, the Prophet of Islam allowed us to marry a, 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 a Christian women you know I wanna ask you can a Muslim woman marry Christian man you will say no no way Okay, how come your prophet he allowed you to marry Christian women to be your baby mama but your mama she cannot marry a Christian man so he can be your baby daddy do you know why because in Islam the kids they have to follow their daddies not their mama so the kids they will come from a Christian women they will be a Muslim kids and Muhammad he wanna spread Islam and let me show you how Muhammad he contradict himself in the beginning he forbid, forbid them from doing that to show you that from the Quran let us go to the surah surah, 20, surah 2 verse 2 to 1 do not marry and believe in women until they believe and the slave women who believe is better than and believe in women do you see it so he forbid them 
Later, he found out if you want to spread Islam, if you want to have more babies, and there is a lot of, uh, you know, women, they are slaves, you know. If he allowed them to have those women in their bed, he can have a lot of kids. And you know what? As long as the kids will be Muslim, who give, who, who, you know, who give a damn if they are going to be uh, kids of a Christian women. They will be a Muslim kids anyway. So, when we say you are a prophet, he forbid you from taking us as a Christians, as a friends and protectors. We are not making it up. This is your Quran. And this is your translation. Do you see it? I'm sure you don't. And I'm sure you will tell me, oh, this is wrong translation, right? Awliya mean everything. Awliya can be even a relative, mister, because your father is a wali. Your father is a wali. Anyone, anyone, he is in a relative or in a very close relationship with you, he can be called as awliya. So he can be a friend, he can be a ruler, someone have to do with you big time, not someone far away. The ruler have to do with you because you have to obey him. And friend is coming as awliya too. You know, and if not, you tell me why you Muslims translate that as friends, not me. Just to make it short. Okay? You see it? Again, for a friendship. You see it? And if you want, you can go to this website. This is QuranAlIslam.com. Huh? Let me post it for you here so you can see it big and clear. Here we go. Or you can go there. Here, huh? Let us cut it off. You see it? And then you go to Surah uh, 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 5, verse 51. Don't tell me it's not clear. And don't tell me this is not Islamic website. This is official government website of Saudi Arabia. But thank you anyway. To show the American, and as long you are an American, I believe, that's all Muslims, they do not consider the USA president is their president, and the USA army their army, and this is showing us that Muslims cannot have loyalty to any Western country. So those Muslims who say to you, we are an American citizen, they are liars. Those Muslims who say to you, we are an English citizen, they are liars. Those Muslims who say to you, we are Australian, Canadian, English, French, German, citizen, they are liars. Why? Because as he said, we cannot take and we should not take someone who is not worship the true God as a protector. So again, thank you very much, Mr. Muslim, to expose your religion. And this is how your religion teach hate. You have to hate everyone, you have to lie to everyone, and you have to deceive everyone. So guys, thank you again, and please go and save the video about a taqiyya, the one I showed you before I made about a taqiyya, which means the lies. Muhammad is allowed, allowed the Muslims to lie, Allah is allowed the Muslims to lie to you, and I showed you that they are allowed to say something inside them and to do something else. This is a surah again, in case you don't uh, remember. You can go see the details about uh, about it in the other video. It says in here, you cannot take them, the disbelievers, the Jewish, and the Christians as a friends. And if you do so, you are out of the honor of Allah and out of uh, 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 the connection with Allah, which means you are upstate of Islam. Just for taking a Christian or a, uh, or a Jew as a friend, you became out of Islam. You imagine how much hate this God he have for the Christian and the Jew. And the one who take them as a friends, he have no honor and no mercy or protection from Allah. You see it? This is your explanation, Ibn Abbas, not mine. Unless if you are doing that to lie to them, to guard yourself against them. How you guard yourself? Save yourself from them by talking or by taking as it, it were security. 
Like if somebody say to you, do you hate America? And you live in America, and you know what? You might kick you out of America if you say yes. So you can say, no, no, I love America. Huh? Saying yourself, saving yourself from them by what? How? By speaking friendly way to them, towards them, towards them. While your hearts dislike that. So you can hate them all the way in your heart, and you have to. But speak to them friendly just for security reason. Not because somebody is putting gun in your head. No. Because you cannot say what you want to say. As I said, a Muslim in Pakistan, he screamed loudly, death to America. A Muslim in America, he cannot say, death to America. So he say in his heart, death to America, and he say to you, I love America. Got it? The fruit of Islam. Thank you.